Hey guys, this is Joe Heller. I'm the sales manager over at Room Real Estate. We're the number one selling team in the Santa Cruz County area um, for the last five or so years, consistently every year, sell the most homes. Um, have roughly about 30 agents working on the team. Um, we're Zillow Flex partners as well. And I'm over here at a property over on Sunnyside Road in Los Gatos. So I wanted to take you on a tour. We have clients showing up one of our agents uh, couldn't make it to the showing, so I'm stepping in to show the property and I'm filming this for them. So let's uh, take them on the tour. And uh, I always like to resend this video to clients. Oh, wow, look at that view, guys. So you can see we kind of climbed a little hillside to get up here. You have these really beautiful views of the redwoods across the way. And um, this is kind of our front porch area down there. We have the parking pad, so we'll just start kind of where I parked the rig. And you can see the back. So this is the nearest neighbor, and a lot of these videos, you'll see real estate videos, don't ever show the approach, the nearest neighbor. You know, they don't show the road going in. So, there you are. You can see, you have an older garage. It's got some cracks. All right, really charming stairway. And again, this the setting is really nice up here. So not too far from Silicon Valley, very close to the Santa Cruz area, beaches, all that good stuff. And a few little spec details I'll give you about this one. So technically it's a two bedroom, one bath, a little over 900 square feet, but the lot itself is 1.7 acres. So you have a lot of, probably a lot of space down there up the hillside down here so we'll walk on in now it looks like an old log cabin style home and this was originally built in 52 and then probably knocked down and re-established in 1970 that's what the records are showing us So really nice, kind of naughty pine style cabin. There I am, hey, what's up guys? <laughs> so check this out. We have this track going across here. They painted the ceiling white Probably just to lighten it up a bit, but it was pretty dark in here beforehand. This little built-in cabinet's pretty cute. I do like these cabins. I actually have a Naughty Pine cabin myself, so really appreciate the style. And you can see they painted this lap boards um, white, lighten it up a little bit. A nice kind of, looks almost like a Belgian wool style carpet. Just always try to get the views out each window. So you can see it's like a lot of privacy. You can see a little bit of a kind of purling in that window. The older original windows. Check out this little closet, guys. I don't know if you can peek that, but it's kind of bare bones closet, but it's pretty cute. It's kind of I like properties with some charm, some character, little unique qualities. Another closet right here see there so you got some storage so that's great looks like there's an attic space crawl space right there the light fixture overhead this takes you into a common bathroom so kind of a rusted orange color on the wall the little peach side and you can just see this guy basic shower with some a little dated let's say 1970s pretty cool guys but very clean very clean so let's keep on moving as we spin out here so you can see there that would be maybe a second bedroom guys 
pretty narrow. And there's the closet. So this is a definitely larger closet. And then we'll spin back around this way. View out the window. No neighbors have views on you. So again, I'll just kind of try to get that. And then you do have that nice skylight. So that's pretty cool. I'll just, just get a view out of that. I like that color. It's kind of like a light, light moss green. So the colorways in this house are actually pretty cool. It's kind of artsy. You know, it's hard to brighten up these walls. So they've done a really good job in making it light and airy and kind of modern. Now this room is one of my favorite rooms in the house. It is my favorite room in the house. It's kind of like a solarium. You can see you have these stained glass windows. And it's just, it, you know, with this skylight, massive skylight. So it's not especially large of a room. But it gives you an idea, like, what you could do if you just wanted to get a little bit of an extra space and do some sort of addition. This is a great way to do it. Um, just really has a lot of charm and character. See, that's probably the back side of that fireplace right there. All right, so we'll head on through this way. So you kind of peel that out and you can see what's going on. So that was probably added after the fact, who knows when. So now we're heading into the kitchen. You can see this cot tile that kind of grabs your attention. And then you have a really nice cabinet. So obviously this stuff has been upgraded, remodeled, what have you at some stage. Maybe they left the floors, I don't know. They threw in that right there. And you can see the front deck. Again, no one can see inside. This one's really charming. They have some... All right, and great place to cook. So let's go ahead and take a look. So now we're in this flex space. And just to show you guys here, so we have that and then kind of reiterate, I just wanna just show you guys one other thing here because we didn't really get to peek in here. So that's this room, but there's a little very smart, well-planned cubby for the laundry, which I think is really cool what they did. And they might've taken a little bit of that kitchen area in order to do it, shrunk the kitchen up maybe, and just kind of framed up this little laundry. So that's really smart. It's nice to have it separate from everywhere so you can cut down on the noise from the laundry, close up the doors. And then this is the other side of that laundry room that we're in right here. So, you know, definitely an upgraded uh, cabin. Even though it's built in the 70s, you can tell they've done some some work. These are Rondacks. But let's just take a look at the grounds. You know, I think that's important. Definitely done some staging and made it look pretty. So you can see a clean out down there. If you can catch that, that indicates that there's probably a leach field right there. And then you can see right here, this has been dug up. So um, that's your uh, hole. So this is your lids for your septic and then probably your leach fields down here. And that's all your leach lines right here. So leach lines, septic tank, main house. Very cool. So I'm gonna just kind of cruise around and you have 1.7 acres, so a lot of space and I'm kind of curious. But these trails, looks like someone's kind of cut out some little trail out here. And that kind of ends out there. But you can see the hillside behind you. There's no one right looking down. Nearest neighbor we've already spotted. 
let's go walk around a little bit. Oh, wait. Looks like there's a basement area. I don't know if we can get in. Let's see if we can. It might be locked. Okay. All right, cool. Finished basement. Love it. I'm going to flick that light on so you can see. Now, I'm like 5, 10, 9, 5, 10. Never made it to six foot, but I can stand up and I don't scrape right now, but when I pass over that beam, I'm right there. So you can see what's going on. Really, it has been cleaned out. Um, you can see you got some infrastructure down here, water heater, some old pipes. Wow. They've done some resupporting in the floors. It appears because these caissons are not original for sure. So they probably resupported this floor. You know, maybe when they did the, some sort of remodel, is my guess. Or, you know, and then you can see these lag bolts. So something's got lagged into this concrete uh, perimeter foundation from the other side. And then you have all that storage. Smells really nice. Doesn't smell like rodents. Um, you can see that they've done. The termite work, which is pretty cool. So really neat to see a crawl space like that because, you know, let's say you wanted to add a sink somewhere or move some, you know, uh, bathrooms, add bathrooms, you know, you have a plumbing leak. It's just having access for drain lines, water lines, evaluating whether you have leaks or damages, just really easy to get to. All right, so now we're just popping up to the backside. We want to do this for a obvious reason. We want to look at the roof. I always like to look at the roof of the house. Now there's always a shady side and a sunny side. So you want to look at that shady side and see what's going on there. So as you can see from this guy, you got a combination of a comp with the torch down. Now they have to do this torch down product when you don't have the slope necessary for these shingles composition shingles so you're with this torch down roof you know you really need to make sure all the debris is clear consistently especially around any skylight you could see a couple waves in here you see those seams as well those seams could be resealed uh, um, so those are all things to consider but always look at the roof look at you know and in, in skylights you always see leaks venting around any vents like those these guys, you just want to make sure that there's no leakage. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, again, the hillside up here. Now look at the backside of this guy. So this is this is probably how. So you see this roof? It's not been completely redone. So you have the backside is is still wood and shingle. So that backside is probably original. And then you can see they've done some work on the ridge. Let's see if I can get a zoom in. So right there, there you can see they've done some work just there. So that tells me that maybe there's some leaks and you can see this roof has seen better days on this particular part. But then the rest of the stuff is uh, this composition. So I don't know, maybe they just cheaped out and didn't re-roof the whole place because at that, that stage in time, this area was all right. Um, but you leave it too long and then it ends up like this. So this roof is shot, right? And I wouldn't be surprised if it leaked. Um, so that would be something to just basically get a price point from a contractor, a roofer contractor. Just get some dollars behind that, find out what that'd be worth. Not uncommon to see these like this, which is with a tarp on there, on these old funky garages. So there you have it, guys. We have the property over at Sunnyside Road in Los Gatos. Right now, the price point is really solid. It's only 849,000. And we did have a little bit of a blip in the market. And the stock market's been kind of taking a dip. Inflation is on the rise. So rates have been, in turn, have been raised by the Fed. Fed's fund rate has been raised and then therefore, um, the actual interest rates go up, roughly falling the market a few months after. So it's really interesting to see what's going on with these markets, but this has been 
a kind of rec record drop because we were just going so gangbusters and it was so hot. Um, this is a really good time for buyers to buy because you're not dealing with as many multiple offer scenarios, as many bidding wars going well over the asking price. And um, it's kind of becoming a normal market somewhat. So that's kind of interesting. All right, guys. So thanks for watching the video. This is your tour. Got to take a look at that awesome redwood right there. So, you know, always got to take a look at the trees around you. This guy looks real solid, but, you know, you probably want to limb up those branches. Anything hanging over the, the roof. We talked about keeping the roof clean. Probably want to limb those up. So some tree work would be in order. I think some roofing uh, work would be in order. Maybe a little bit of touch-up paint. Working on the gutters, clean those suckers out. But, um, and then obviously that garage. You know, it doesn't have a door. It needs a little bit of work. But you have a lot of space, so it's really cool. And I think for the price, this is an awesome place. So thanks, guys.